Today I'm going to take a look at how to use the um, inequality app that comes on the TI-84 calculator. Um, and I've got all four different versions up here um, just because it was easier to make one as opposed to make four separate videos. Um, the TI-83, the 84 plus silver edition, and the 84 plus C silver edition, the color version of that. Um, all three of those are going to be run the exact same way. All right, the only thing that will be a little bit different will be your TI-84 plus CE. Um, program runs just a little bit differently. All right, so let's start over here on the TI-83. All right, you're going to um, hit the apps key. All right, and then you will probably have a lot more things to choose from on here, but if you've got the inequal, you don't see the Z on this one, um, that's the app that you're going to be picking, so you can select two and it goes in and starts the app all right and you can hit enter all right and then you've got your inequalities here that you're going to be choosing this one I've already got um, an equation in there 2x minus 5 let's say I want to change that to maybe say a greater than then you're gonna hit alpha and then the trace because the trace is underneath the greater than and what that does is it just changes that to a greater than symbol all right, and shows you then it would be a dotted line with um, shading on top there. So then if we go to our graph, it's going to work to graph that. And you'll be able to see it is a dotted line right there. Okay. Um, all right, now coming over here to the uh, Silver Edition one, uh, it's going to be in the exact same place. You're going to go into your apps. After you turn it on, you're going to turn it, go into your apps, and again, hit that program again and go in and the program is going to look identical if you notice on the screens there uh, back in that mode you know, everything looks very very similar alright on both of these two the TI-84 plus silver edition or just a TI-84 plus you're going to want to eventually quit that program because otherwise you're going to have that coming up all the time on your features alright so let's just use this TI-84 plus and go ahead in that one and show you how to quit the program you're going to go back in and hit apps all right, and then hit two, and then you'll have the option to quit that app, and you can hit two. And once you quit it, then when you go back in, you'll see that then those inequality symbols are no longer there. All right, and same thing with this one on your TI-84 plus C silver edition, the color version. All right, in the apps there, and this one is actually inequal Z, actually sees the Z there, and you hit four and you go in you turn it on and it's the exact same version of the program a um, little better graphics there just because of the calculator is a different version but you still have your inequalities there so it's flashing right there if I want to switch it I'm gonna go alpha let's do uh, less than or equal to this time alright it shows it's gonna shade below it'll be a solid line and then if I arrow over and I put an equation in maybe say x minus um, 2 and then we'll go look at the graph on that it's gonna shade obviously below on this one and then you can see it's a solid line okay there we go alright again though on this one though when you are all done you're going to need to go into the apps program and quit it because if not every time you go back to your y equals and you're gonna have those uh, inequality symbols there so you would go in and quit it the exact same way alright now for the TI-84 plus C alright um, if I hit the y equals all right, and I start arrowing to the left. All right, that's over the equal sign. That's changing my color and the type of line. All right, I do have to go ahead and actually start the app on this. So if I hit apps, all right, it's number five on mine. So I will hit five and it's going to start the program. And if you look at your version, it is a newer updated version. So it's going to be just a little bit different here. All right, notice that there are no inequality symbols, okay, like you had on the previous three versions because it's flashing over the equal sign right now. If I arrow left, it highlights this entire thing, which is going to let me go in and change everything that I need. So when I hit enter, I could change the color. If I wanted it to shade in a different color, I could do that. I could arrow down, all right, equal sign, all right, or I could go less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, all right. So you just get to ch change everything all at once. Let's go less than on that one and then we'll hit OK and then let's arrow over and go ahead and put an equation in so we can see what this looks like it's like do a um, arrow over a little bit more and do like a 2x um, plus 5 
it graphs much faster because it's a much faster processor, much more clear, and you can still, if you look real closely, see that it's a dotted line. All right, but here again, um, on this one, you're not really going to notice that you are in the program if you don't ever quit the app because you don't see the inequalities at the end. Um, I would recommend, though, quitting the app if you're just going to do regular graphing for the most of, of your time. All right, and then you can tell whether or not you're running the program is when you arrow left and you're not running the program, you will just, it'll just highlight things individually as opposed to putting the square around all of it. All right, so just um, a real quick um, demonstration on that, uh, how to graph inequalities on the four different types of calculators.